Dover Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news for the world of track and field. Right? Now, the baddest dude probably ever when it comes to the 100 meters is Usain Bolt. And he had his farewell, farewell uh, race yesterday. Let me tell you. Okay? It was still nice. Um, he came, he got the bronze medal at the championships in London. Right? Got bronze. Now, that's big when you're talking about Usain Bolt. But it's his farewell race. Right? And he was nipped by your boy, Justin Gatlin, and then uh, Christian uh, Coleman. Right? We got to watch out for. Now, my dark horse wasn't there. Degrassi from Canada. Those are the boys. You know, Coleman uh, versus Degrassi is going to be something. We got, got something to look forward to. But Usain Bolt, right, like, you know, some most of the time he was taller. Didn't get a good start. Tried to catch him at the end. He got that little back injury. So that's why he's going to stop. He's 30 years old. He's won everything. He's got 11 championship medals. Um, and in the Olympics, we don't have to discuss it. But do an extra video on him when he's totally gone. This was about the 100 meters and losing to Justin Gatlin. Uh, you know, so that was uh, awesome to see. You know how you get, you know, you get jittery when the 100 meters come, you know. And um, Usain, man, he, he, he's, he's incredible. He's definitely incredible. He's been reigning over about 10 years now and doing incredible things. He's the world uh, record holder, what, 9-5-8? And that race was won yesterday with about 9-9, nine, nine, right? You know, you remember a couple of years ago, Zane Boker running 9-9 nine, nine, laughing at you after 50 meters. You know, he's looking at you. So, you know he's not in top form. Now, um, we're going to say farewell to him, but not really. We're going to do an extra video for Zane Bolt because he deserves it. He's a legend. Going to be one of the best in history when you're talking about Olympians. You know, you got Carl Lewis, you got Michael Phelps, Nadi Komanichi, way back, I take it way back. There's a couple of names. I hope I'm not, you know, sliding someone. I don't know every damn thing. You know what I mean? But just names just pop out you, pop at you right there. You know, I don't really go into winter sports uh, that much, the Winter Olympics, but I'm talking about Summer Olympics right here. Now, listen, uh, also, you know, to win, Justin Gatlin, uh, you know, the guy, he had doping issues, and he sat out four years, right, which... You know, he's 35 years old now. Um, much props to him, you know, for perseverance, right? You, you, you're young, you make mistakes, you dope, you know, like everybody else, basically, <laughs> this is what happens. And you sit out not six months, not 18 months, but four years to come back and run at the highest level, only to be beaten, to be honest with you, by Usain Bolt. So I'm pretty sure from his standpoint, 35 years old to win at the world championships is huge for Justin Gatlin. Now, like I said, you know, people who doped before, uh, you know, most of these 100 meter runners, you know, you got the question would be who is it? Similar to cycling. You know, when you're doing something and the sponsors are telling you, look, we, we want you to be up in the front, you know, so you got to do what you got to do. If everyone's doing it, then somebody, everyone's going to do it. You know, you're just going to. Uh, it is what it is, same way it was in baseball. You know, I can remember, you know, every, you know, back before uh, it was illegal in 2003, I, basically everybody was doping in, in, in baseball. You saw it with Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa hitting all them home runs here at one day. Yeah, I know Barry Bonds was looking at him like, now, nah, I ain't doping yet, but let me show you what happened if I dope too. And came back and hit way many more home runs, 70 something, had to nerve the bat 370, three got walked about a million times in one season. Barry Bonds got walked so much that I was surprised they didn't even change the rule. You know, because if you're not American, baseball is boring if you're not American. And even if you are sometimes. So if you come to a game in baseball, right, and the dude you come to see to hit home runs or at least get a, at bat is being walked four times. And they should have a rule. You can walk somebody to intentionally once a game. That's it. We come to see people hit now. So I think they should have addressed that back in the day. But that's a whole different story. I'm just talking about, you know, in some sports, when everyone's doing it, then I think somebody's, you know, you, you can't blame somebody for doing it with them to be able to be on the same playing field. Like we like to say, even playing field, baby. So back to Justin Gatlin. He did what he, he doped, but he... Sat out four years, came back, 
and was still able to run at the highest level. So you got to give him a little love for his perseverance. But at the end of the day, Usain Bolt, that was his last race of the 100 meters. Farewell, homie. We'll do another video about you. Uh, you know, best of all time when it comes to sprinting. Somebody got somebody else, but we can talk about it. <laughs> Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm about to get y'all.